wanted to uh, bring up a couple of, of pictures to show and illustrate just how far we've come here on Post Force mm -hmm. Live. Um, we used to, do you remember when you first started with us yeah, when we, we had the there. black box studio sure. and it was called Football Insider Live? Yeah. Oh, and you had and Mace and Mace. And we had Rick yeah, Mace no looking really interested there in the conversation and we were all huddled around that little table. And then, do you remember those? Doing his usual thing, and you could barely see you because you're like a floating head in that yes. black in that black outfit. Oh, and now there's a day. now this is just like <laughs> the, the the futuristic. We're, <laughs> well, it's an upgrade. We're, we're just yeah. fly now. It's an upgrade, and then we're and then there was. A, do you upgrade. remember the day you wore green pants? Yes. That, that and, and if you look closely <laughs> there, that's a green screen. That's true. You can kind of see through like a like a ghost yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, you weren't in shape <laughs> either. Look at you. That's fat. Yeah, he was showing the guns really there. Right there. So yeah, anyway, the gun was out, but my belly was too. Yeah. Well, let's get to the montage, then we'll come back with final thoughts. Hello and welcome back to Post Sports Live. I'm your host Jonathan Forsyth, and joining me here in the newsroom of the Washington Post, Lavar Arrington. Uh, fresh off a, what, what were you doing yesterday? I don't know. A uh, hard hits blogger and today our favorite blogger, LeVar Arrington. Hey, our man LeVar, office linebacker here on Valentine's Day. Former hard hits blogger and host yeah. of 106.7, the fan LeVar Arrington, Char painful. Chad Deuce That's show. Painful. What's, what's painful? Former, former hard hits guy. That is what happens when you repeatedly stretch a ligament out. Are the Wizards a playoff team next year? I'm going to have to see it. I'm going to have to be a seeing is believing guy. So I'm going, I'm going nay on playoffs. And I don't think that it's half full or half empty right now. I'm just looking at the glass with with water in it. Can Bryce not Harper. love Bryce Harper. We'll get to Bryce I, Harper. I don't love soon. him. Levar, just just, wait, him. just hang on. We'll get to Bryce. I think Bryce Harper falls into that new generation of athlete that they don't really care. It's all about how they feel and and how they approach what they're going to do. I think that he's a first year guy. He's got to do it the way that he's going to do it. But you have to be careful you don't run into like a Mike Shanahan situation. Mm. I'm trying to think of a way to truly sum up the state of this team. And it's kind of like, who cares? I could care less about if Mike Shanahan is leaking out reports. I could care less if he wants to be here or not. You're gonna hold him out for the rest of the season and you have three wins? Are we dumb? Are, are, are we are we done? Uh, I think if Jay Gruden is smart, he will take the initiative to begin to repair and restore. I, I am DC that people. That's too. why I'm sitting here in the Washington Post. Okay, don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's true. So I'll take the first stab at this, LeVar. Um, uh, one of the things that, I, that comes to mind when I think back to your time here are some of the conversations we had before the show, mm -hmm. uh, before we went to air on, uh, with Dan specifically about how many like average Joe White guys it would take to subdue right. you then in a fight. Into something we used totally to do a tiebreaker. And then we <laughs> well, it turned, <laughs> it turned, it turned into tur to, like it turned into <laughs> how many squirrels. <laughs> squirrels were like, part of it. Uh, it just how many there some, ants? There were some very colorful uh, pre-show conversations, right which word. I will yes. miss. Yes. And I would like to personally thank you for resisting the urge to break me in yes. half on the times that I've asked you to, you to be more tell concise me to shut up a few times. and shut up yes. and move along. So thank yes. you. No it's been a pleasure. It's been all mine. Well, you will be very, mine. very thank missed you. around Appreciate here in the post. Thank you live. very much. Uh, Dan or, or Matt or Matt? What's your name? Mike? We got to hold. Anything else we got to gotta hold Dan back because he might start crying. You know? <laughs> You might start crying. I know this is going to be an emotional I had fun. I, I had fun doing this with you, LeVar, and we've done a lot of these shows together, and I really did enjoy it and consider you a friend. So yeah, that's all. I, I'll just say, when, when I first was working at the radio station with him, he came up to me one day and he said, um, he said, what, what do you think of me writing or doing something for the Washington Post? And I go, I think he'd be good. And he goes, really? And he was so giddy. He, he, he looked at the Washington Post like probably Woodward and Bernstein did 40, 50 huh. years ago. And, and for someone of his ilk to hold our institution in the regard that we believe it should be mm -hmm. um, as a modern day athlete, I don't know, it meant a lot to me. And the fact that he ended up working here and being, and being part of this, I, you know, even if it was part time, it was very cool. And, and I do consider him a friend too. So thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank well, for you. now, it's just like we're the farm club, and now he's moving up to the big time. Really. Oh, hey, <laughs> LA, baby. Congratulations. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, Lamar. Any final no, thoughts? No, I just, uh, I'm so appreciative of the Washington Post and you guys. I mean, it's been 
it's been an amazing road. I mean, I've had nothing but fun. I mean, you, you, you take a blink and we've been here for years. We've been doing this for a long time. So uh, Mike, somebody that I respected even as a player, um, Dan, not so much, but, you know, <laughs> but but having the opportunity to do this show and, and get to know Dan and Jay Reed and, you know, you and, and, and so many other people, uh, Vita and, and obviously Mitch and the rest of the staff. I mean, the staff has been first class. Uh, you know, I work on a set in, in LA and in different places and, and you, you know, this is right. It's done, it's done correctly. So I, I owe a lot of, of my development to being a part of this. And I do hold the Washington Post and, and one, uh, you know, the highest esteem. Uh, it's, it's something that I pride myself in leading off when I say what I've been able to accomplish. I actually say I, I wrote and, you know, you could say blog, I could care less. I wrote mm -hmm. for the Washington Post. Half the writers of the suits uh, room do it. And, it's and, all digital now. And so I actually say that before I even give any type of athletic accomplishments because I feel as though being able to write and work for the Washington Post uh, and work for, for the Post for an extended amount of time uh, was quite quite an accomplishment from where I came from. So uh, I'm just, just thankful, thankful for having the opportunity. and. Hey, listen. I, I don't. I don't believe in doors uh, staying shut for forever. In some cases, you, you just never know. I'm. I might go out here and become something different, and and the Washington Post may have an opening and, and give me a, a better situation that's at some point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you go. Are you want a host? Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's so like that's a good know. thing. You never know. All so. right. Well, you, well, you'll be ready. You'll be yeah. ready. With, don't be a stranger. With, with Maryland joining the Big Ten, I have a lot I of will see you conversations guys. about we will Penn do, State. We will do some interviews. There you go.